Hello, welcome back to Desert Dogs Garage and Metal Works. My name is Harry. Today we're going to put in the ignition module control for this 99 Road King that I convert to carb. Um, on the last video, as you, you've seen that, I did the carb, go to the tank, and put the petcock in. So now I'm going to put the wiring harness in today, and I'm going to put the ignition module in today. So, and maybe I'll get a fire up on it later on today. I, I, that's kind of my goal. So let's see how far we get and let's give her hell. All right. Yeah, so I got my module right here. I'm gonna put it in. Now this, these Rogue Kings here were made in these back in 99 up until, uh, I can't really remember when or what. I would have to look at it. I ain't up on all that, but they were made with carburetors and EFI. Yeah, I guess it was an option. And yeah, which is good because this plate, this plate back here has the mounting bolts for the ECM and then the ignition module here. So that's kind of nice. Obviously, you could tell it was made for either or. And we are... doing the ore I guess okay I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find me some pan head screws and use them there on a Phillips bit looks like it'll be because uh, I ain't getting a socket on these all right I got the right screws pan heads so much better and I can tighten them I can get a wrench in there so all right, let's get these set. There we go. All right, that one's in. Okay, that's simple now. The wiring harness. I got a fish. This one is going down to the cam sensor. That one's got to go down, down and run underneath and go. And then these two go up across the tank up in here and plug into the coil and the map sensor. So that's how those go. So this is a data connection. This is a data. This plugs into the, these two plug into the ignition module and then this one plugs into the existing harness wiring here. Now I gotta match these up. That's snapped in, pretty simple. Yeah, right here. That's snapped in. And then we got, that one goes in. Now these only go in one way. They can only go in one way. There we go. That's in data link. So now I'll leave this here. And this one is going up through here. Right, get her all the way there. This one's going up to here. There, how to reach. Now. Now, this one, hmm. All right, well, this has only got so much room way down in there. So I'm gonna get it down in there and I'll come back. All right, well, I got it ran. It was, wasn't was that hard, but wasn't that fun either. But where it ended up at is it had to run right down through there. It's. This cable right here, that one right there, wrench all the way down. It goes, tucks inside the frame, and then it runs right down, right down under here. This is it right here, right under the frame, tucks there. And then it runs to, this is the end, this is the one I ran through, and then this goes to the oil pressure switch, cam positioning sensor, and crank positioning sensor. This is your connector for that. So then it just matches up, 
only goes one way, which is that way. And we snap it in and she's connected. So now I just get all this tucked up and tied up and wire tied how it originally is. And then we um, put the battery in, some fuel, and try to fire this puppy up and see what happens. So I'll get all this wrapped up and I'll be back. So Okay, cool. Got it all rerouted underneath and um, I got her zip tied up and uh, show you what I got. Pretty much just wire tied it. Wire tied it along with everything across here and then tuck it up under here, here so it don't drag out. Right here. It should be good to go. I think what I'll do right now is get up there, hook up the coil, hook up the map sensor, and it should be good to go there. So, all right, let's go over there and hook all that up. All right, we'll hook them up. Map. Then I'll have to figure out my routing here when I go to put my tank on. Okay, there. Um, coil. Snapped in. This is for my fuel gauge. And can't remember what the hell this was for. Well, anyway, we'll see when we get everything going. I gotta put my horn back on. I gotta put my stabilizers across. So I'll get set up for that and we'll uh, get that on there. All right, let's put our bracket back on here. Horns in place. Okay. Now, next step is I drop this puppy down, put the tank on, put the battery in, and then think before I fire and put some gas in it. So, hang on. We'll be back. Okay. Grab our gas tank. these over here okay gotta move that map sensor cable yeah so I'll move that in between there Get a little bit more out of there okay I got a little more there we go that's better, boy. It seems tight. Oh, I got more. There we go. Oh, yeah, I got more. Okay, so I'm good. Right there. Hold it against there. Yeah, okay, I'm going to get a zip tie and tie that up. under the tank I'm good everything's there okay now 
I got plenty of slack. I ain't like hurting on nothing there. That'll work. And that all works there. So I'm good to go. All right, now let's grab the tank. She dried out real good. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in there to hold that so she don't fall. All right, so these are my little tank lip bolts. Tighten them puppies down. All right, that's that one in there. Tighten this one up. That's good. Everything is movable. Yep, good, everything moves free. Okay, I get that crossover line hooked up. I'm gonna get the crossover line hooked up for the tanks, the two tanks. Well, it's one tank, but there's a crossover still on the bottom here. Um, I'll get the fuel line hooked up and then I'll show you my progress at that moment. Um, get the wiring hooked up and then come back. Well, I got all that tightened down, um, everything. My pet cock right here, it's off. I ran the line through here. I worked out pretty good. And then I hooked up my crossover, which last time you seen I made a mess. So I did this tank lift. It's about an inch and three quarter from here to there. So I lifted it up some. Now, what I did, the reason I did that, so I get more flow under here. Um, and it just helps for cooling on these twin cams. Pretty simple, just a few shims. Just make them the size here and then just pick that you pick your tank up, that's it. And back bracket here, it stays tight, it still works, you know. I don't know, you might put a little, it might bend that a little bit, but not enough to really make a difference. But yeah, so there's a tank lift on there, so it allows the air to flow underneath there. So yeah, I'm good to go there. So go back over here. Um, put the dashboard together and then go from there. So, all right, let's get to her. Let's grab the dash. I gotta put all this back together though. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, that's going back up. That's a vent. on there we go all right batteries in cool so i have less relays in here which is nice because i've added accessory relay a little while back right here so i can use this and tuck that down in and that'll be it'll be cool good it's nice i actually made out had a couple relays that i that came back to me because it was a uh, fuel pump relay here and then the ECM relay. So I don't have a fuel pump and I don't have ECM. So I gained a couple relays. So I guess that'd be called saving money <laughs> or a good deal. All right, so here goes positive. Nothing is on fire. Be careful there, buddy. Don't start no fire. Okay, good, we got lights, neutral. Okay, so we're back on there. I guess I'm gonna go get some gas, some gas in this. Yeah, okay, pull the cap. All right, let's turn gas on, see what happens here. Down is on. 
Should be getting fuel. Give that a minute or so to get in there. Fill that float bowl. And then we'll take a break and come back. All right, I went through a double check for leaks. I let that float bowl fill up, I think. Um, I'm a little nervous, man. It's like... <sighs> so, we went from EFI to carburetor. It's using a cam positioning sensor, crank positioning sensor, and map sensor. That's all it's doing right now. There's no, no injectors or nothing like that now. So, let's see if it fires. Like I said, I'm kind of freaking nervous, man. But I'm going to be happy if it goes. Okay, choke. Turn the key on. And... See what goes. Oh, oh. I'm at the set idle. It's a little low, but rock and roll, baby. Fuck yeah. Oops, excuse my language, but that's how it goes when you're happy. Let's try her again and see what we get here. take that so I know I got some tuning up to do I got to put all my accessories back on the battery and that and uh, just double check things make sure they're good to go and uh, yeah I am super happy and just double check again for leaks and uh, gonna have to get it out on the road and uh, I got a jet kit to jet it because I'm at uh I talked to s and s and they said I will have to rejet I'll have to do some jetting on it because of my elevation um, but that's a matter of getting it out. I'll probably get an air fuel ratio sensor and just put on this so I have it because again um, I want it running clean and I want it running snappy. So that's what we're gonna do. But hey, I'm happy it worked and fired right up. That's sweet, man. So cool. So but hey, so I'm gonna say that's it for this series. I'll keep you an update on it on everything if I have any problems and go for there that way you know if you end up doing this what to expect but as of right now everything I got works great ready to rock and roll so um if you like this series and this video hit the thumbs up man I appreciate it and hit that subscribe too because that really helps me out um it gives me incentive to make more and if this helps I'm glad to help thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you later on the next one peace <laughs>